big props to you guys. Uh, I'm proud of you. Like, do your thing. But y'all, go check that book out when it comes out. Go, go see it. Right? Go read it. I mean, I think these beautiful minds to go and create something like that is really, really cool. I really love it. I dig it. Right? I dig it. And just to kind of see it come alive and have a positive message for the kids and all this. Like, that's dope. I like that. I do. Right? It's like, keep doing your thing, bro. Keep doing your thing. So, guys, we all going to get into another one. We're going to get into another one. Um, This one is a little lengthy. I will say that it is a little lengthy. Um, we'll see if we get enough information. We won't watch the full video on this, but I think maybe we might. We will just kind of see, to be honest. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this one. Go a list of police reforms the governor has said she supports includes making an officer's disciplinary history public. Because yeah. as News 13's Jose Mitri shows you on special assignment, if an officer breaks the rules in New Mexico right now, you may not find out about it. Yeah, I believe it. Protests this year have renewed a push for police reforms focused on accountability and transparency. Well, I think we've seen across the country and certainly here in New Mexico that public trust around our police departments has eroded. It's true that uh, the relationship between law enforcement and, and the communities we serve right now uh, is strained for obvious reasons. In response, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham created the Council for Racial Justice and threw her support behind legislative proposals like making police disciplinary history a matter of public record. Every single thing has to be on the table. Right now, each law enforcement agency in New Mexico can interpret the state's public records law differently. For instance, on special assignment, KRQE has obtained stacks of records detailing internal affairs investigations and disciplinary records of officers with the Albuquerque Police Department. But many other departments in the state will not let the public see those records. This is the denial the city of Belen sent us, refusing to release records after a Belen police officer was investigated twice in July for his conduct. In Santa Fe, the Santa Fe reporter is suing the police department over its policy to keep disciplinary records secret. And while investigating a tip about a New Mexico state police officer, we learned they also have a policy of refusing to release officers disciplinary records. So that means you may never hear about alleged misconduct unless an officer is charged criminally, which is very rare, or unless someone sues them in civil court, like in this case. <laughs> This video surfaced after DWI suspect Ryan Cordova in cuffs there sued this state police officer, Peter Romero, in February. But as far as whether Officer Romero broke any department policies or was disciplined, state police won't say. The incident happened last year and went public this year and about a month later, Romero quietly retired. Transparency should be the policy. There's no reason that if someone signs up to protect and serve a community that if they're disciplined, that somehow becomes a secret that they can keep. Civil rights attorney Shannon Kennedy has taken the Department of Public Safety, or DPS, which oversees New Mexico State Police, to court over police records, winning a case this year that went all the way up to the state Supreme Court. The de uh -uh. No. Hold on. Okay. At first, it was bad what he was doing, but then at the end, that was disturbing. That was disturbing, right? I, 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 nah, like no, like, what the heck? Why, why, <sighs> bro? Okay. Should they show their public records of the offenses and reprimands and all these things? Yes. Why? Because you know what? I live in Albuquerque. I've seen it on the news numerous times. They get away with it, but yet the family will sue them for millions of dollars, win the lawsuit, and APD or these places pay out all these millions of dollars to these families. 
even though publicly they say they were innocent, there was no charges, whatever it is, the case dropped, whatever, but yet get sued and have to pay out millions of dollars. Hmm. I have this talk with my dad all the time about this, right? And know what? Yes, show the records. Show the records. You know what? We know you're hiding things. I ain't even going to say, you know what? Maybe you're hiding things. Maybe you're not. We know you are. Because, you know what? We see these incidents, but then when they when they try to go and get the records, you're like, no, nah, our policy says no. Your, our policy says no. Nah. Hmm. Why is that? Why is that? Why are you not showing us the records, right? Why aren't you showing us the records? Come on. Just let us see what's going on. Let us see how you're reprimanding these people, right? Because, you know what? Okay, I understand your job is stressful. I understand your job is scary at times. I do understand that so, so much. But, it's like, you need to get reprimanded for your actions, right? If if we do things like that in the streets or anything like that, what happens? We get reprimanded, right? We get reprimanded. We get in trouble. We go to jail. We lose our job, whatever it is. But yet... Yet, you don't. But yet, your company, your department pays out millions of dollars. Hmm. What does that say about you? What does that say about your department and what you're doing? Is there any transparency? I don't think so. Right? I don't think there's any transparency there. It's like, like, what is going on? Like, are you going to be able to show us what's going on, or are you not? Because if you're not, I think that's really shady. I think it's really shady. And I I, I ain't rock with that. I don't rock with it. <clears throat> so, to the video, yes, show us the records. Let the, let the records be public. Put them all, all those departments, state police, APD, Santa Fe, Berlin, all of them, put them into the same policy. Let us be able to see all the records, not just APD. And we know that it's only probably some of APD's records that we probably have seen, right? Probably ain't the full thing. So let us see it. Let us be able to see it. That's all we want. Let us see the records. Just let us see the records. That's all we want. Uh, enough with the rant. <laughs> enough with the rant. We're going to jump into the next one. We're going to end this one on a super positive note. From the pastor of Sage Rest Church. Yes, I am being a little biased because it is my church. I understand. It's okay. It's okay. He put up a small clip. So, of course, I'm going to react to it because it's going to be easy to react to it. It's not going to be a super long video. I don't have to go into the sermon. I ain't got to find the little snippet. They already did it for me. Thank you. Thank you. So, the title of this one, right? The title of this one is, We Are Not Here By Accident. We are not here by accident. Bro, we are not. I uh, you know what if y'all have your beliefs that's totally fine. I rock with all of y'all. We fam. It don't matter. You do your thing. I do my thing. You believe in what you believe in. I'll believe in what I believe in. There ain't no issues there. There ain't no issues there. But I will say, I full heartedly believe that we are not here by accident. We are here with a purpose. Oh God, right? We were. He knew us before we were in our mother's womb. Right, he had this all destined for us. And I ain't here to get political. I ain't here to get arguments, none of that. If you ain't rock with it, if you're like, nah, man, we here by accident, then you could go ahead and click off. You don't need to finish the video. I ain't trying to be rude or anything. But this is for the fam that's like, you know what, I need this encouragement. Because you know what, sometimes I feel like there ain't, I ain't have no purpose. This is for you, fam. This is for you. Here's the bottom line. God has a plan and purpose for every single person. Every single person who's ever been born, God has a plan and a purpose for their life. He has something that he wants them to contribute, something that he wants them to accomplish. 
The Bible says that we are God's workmanship, creating Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. There's certain things that we're supposed to accomplish. We're not here by accident. That there was a little girl, she came up to her mom. She said, Mom, I I'm curious, how did the human race begin? And, and the mom said, well, well, daughter, this is how it started. Way back, God created the heavens and the earth, and then he created 